Hello everyone, I'm Sylvia from Fellai Tarot. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do the part two hashtag standout decks 2022 oracle decks a VR to Picabo Royce. Stay tuned. We're going to start with the Mother Nirvana Oracle by Jennifer Sudini. And by the way, there's no particular order to the decks that I'm showing you today. Um, these are just the Oracle decks that were incredibly meaningful for me in 2022. And this one, ironically, I just said that there's no particular order, but I would actually, um, if I had to choose, this would definitely be um, the number one. It's an incredible deck because of its artwork. The color palette, I mean, the colors are just incredibly vibrant, alive. It looks like they're actually jumping out of the cards and inviting you in with them. But it's not just that. I think that this deck is well balanced. Um, it's got um, a lot of um, very insightful cards. Um, it's got a mix of symbology, but also, for example, you've got sigils. Um, it does uh, make you think, it makes you um, vibrate together th with the deck. It's an incredible reader when you read it on its own for a one card pool deck, but it's also very interesting to use it as a focus between two tarot cards. And it does pair really, really well with the number of my decks, which is always a plus. Obviously, this borrowed card is one of my favorite ones. It's just so beautiful. I remember I used it in a reading for a Will of the Year, um, reading for a client. And, um, and I was talking about this card and I was showing uh, the way that all the elements seem to be against this person. So this person is balancing themselves in this really tiny canoe-like boat and um, the sea is choppy as you can see the waves um, you know there's an eclipse so there's not much light to go on and on top of everything it's clouded and it's raining you know but this card means yes we we can see how much around us is against us or is trying to make us doubt about ourselves but we have to just balance ourselves we have to hang in there and it will the storm will pass it will pass eventually if we're on the boat we're already going somewhere i love the way this deck makes me feel it's in, in the way it makes me think it's provoking uh but not on a too confrontational level um it is still gentle but it, it is um, still um, standing its ground whenever it's got a message to deliver it still tells you whatever you need to hear but it does that in a gentle way so this deck is the modern Nirvana oracle by jennifer sudini these two decks need no introduction um, i absolutely adore these decks they are amazing um, I purchased the base decks, the Southern Botanic Oracle and the Southern Gothic Oracle, but I also bought the expansion packs of the show. Um, these are based at uh, the author, the creator is Stacey Williams, and, and she's based in the southern state of the United States. And these decks are a love declaration um, for the place where she lives which is one of my favorite places on earth unfortunately i don't live there but i would love to i've shown this deck in my I live in tarot um hashtag as well they're just amazing this one is the southern botanic and it looks at all the um botanical species that you can find in the southern states and i love what i love about them is not just the artwork which is also you know vibrant interesting there's a lot of contrast between the backgrounds and that makes the flowers or you know the plant or the fruit stand out but it's also because it's got the name of the uh, plant or in this case um, the flower of the fruit representing the card and then it's got this the latin name for it 
and it does always have a couple of keywords for example for tomato we've got family and bloodline from azalea we got temperance and calm for cypress we've got sorrow and regret Captain, we've got utility and advantage so this is what i really appreciate in a deck the fact that it not only draws me into the card with uh, with its artwork but also because the keywords are definitely resonating with me and they appeal to my um the side of me which is a storyteller so this is the southern botanic and the southern gothic is incredibly beautiful if the southern botanic is vibrant the southern gothic is even more so the concept is the same you've got the um, uh, depiction of one of the uh, typical let's say objects um, or things you can find in the southern states of the u.s you have this is part of the haunted expansion pack and uh, you've got the name of it, Hellhound, for example, and then you've got a couple of keywords, cruelty, fear tactics. Blue Moon, Second Chances, and Magic. So these decks, these two decks pair really well with the number of decks that I have. Uh, they're very versatile, you can use them on their own. Every time I, pu I pull the crosswords, it reminds me of Supernatural. Um, they're just really beautiful and uh, uh, appealing to my creative side. So these two are the Southern Gothic Oracle and Southern Botanic Oracle by Stacey williams Anne. It's no secret how much I love this deck. It's the Soul Trees Ascension deck. It's just incredible. This deck is stunning. The artwork is amazing. It's so very evocative. It speaks to me of a liminal space. Sometimes you've got the trees as a silhouette of lack of color, so white, for example, against a watercolor background. Sometimes you have a full um, painting of the trees. The keywords are amazing, they are very, very intuitive and I found myself literally just looking at the cards that I was pulling and then having been able to talk about them for hours. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. It's really a deck that will bring out everything that is important in a tarot card if you want to read it together with the tarot um, but it's also a deck that will convey a lot of energy a lot of uh, manifestation um, whenever you pull it um, you pull a card by itself it's definitely one of my top three oracle deck of 2022 and i think that I, I really hope that I will always, always have the chance to work with this deck. So it's the Soul Trees Ascension deck by Alison Williams Yee. This deck was a bit of a surprise in the sense that when I got it, I exclusively got it because I was looking for something for an Oracle deck to pair well with my Yokai Yochi tarot deck. And I saw this one and I... Um, I knew that the uh, color palette was very similar. Um, coincidentally, the cardstock is very similar too, although the Yokai Yochi has got a more of a linen finish to it. This is more of a, like a very nice uh, rose petal. Now this deck is a surprise in the sense that, see, look at this card, for example, Shadow. Um, it is incredibly introspective and it reminds me a lot of the keywords, but also the general effects that you have when using the Reclaim oracle um it's the kind it's conducive of shadow work of um, you know reclaiming your personal image of reclaiming and reacquiring i think that kind of um, state of innocence that we lost because of well you know life uh, and its experiences and um you see all of the cards with the combination of the artwork and the keywords um it does an excellent job at um 
but there you go. <laughs> Triggering a number of reactions uh, that uh, point out that someone needs working on. That's why to me it's very similar in its use to uh, the Reclaim Oracle. It's not similar for anything else in the sense that the artwork is, even though this is also minimalist kind of artwork, is not the same and the color palette is completely different. Um, but it does have that kind of feel and um, it's funny because I was going to buy the Reclaim Oracle sooner or later when I would have felt ready to do some shadow work on myself. And now that I have this one, I actually don't need to, I, I don't feel like I need it. And, um, and it's beautiful because uh, it does have a website that you can um, log into. And uh, for example, when you pull a card, you can check the website and there will be uh, a poem related to each and every card. So this is the Poesis um, Oracle. And it's by Andrea Wan. This deck is very famous because I feel like everyone that talks about this deck uh, talks about trauma and it is indeed a deck that you would use um, to do some introspective work around um, trauma in specific um, the concept behind this deck is that we store any kind of emotional trauma we store in our body and the way that we can tackle it is to find it and you know and work on it now specifically it's um it shows you the part of your body in the bones in which you store the trauma um i like this concept i probably because i've had uh, several injuries uh, related to my bones in my in my life and um, whenever I pull only one card for myself from this deck it always points to the bones that have been affected by the injury that I sustained and it feels like um, this deck is reaching out to me it feels like it's speaking to my soul and it feels like it's telling me to be kind to myself to recognize that i have been through a trauma that i have had this kind of injury and um, it's asking me to take some time for myself to heal and i feel like everyone that is using this deck has exactly the same experience it's a very touching deck it's very very emotional it's a beautiful deck it's the energy ecology oracle deck by ashley stinson and it's been illustrated by kelly finnan and usually when I talk about uh, significant oracle decks in my 2022, the Death Doula is always following the energy archaeology. And the reason why I do this kind of progression is because um, I use them in, for example, in clients reading, I um, generally pull a tarot deck card that indicates um, the situation. And then I pull uh, together the Somnia Tarot for the effect of this situation in the client's mind. And then I use the energy archaeology to see where in the body this situation has taken a hold. And the death doula is generally telling me what's going on on a soul level. Um, everything that is being affected on, on the soul by the situation at hand. And generally speaking, I use also the um, um, Modern Nirvana uh, as a last card pool because I want to see what eventually what can be done about the situation. In some cases, I will replace the energy archaeology with the Poesis Oracle. I think it goes really, really well with the Death Doula, which is this one here. Uh, now, the Death Doula Oracle is... Uh, by Theodore Saint. It's um, a collage kind of deck, as you can see, photographic collage. It's oversized. It's a bit difficult to shuffle for me in particular, but um, it is very intuitive. It draws you in. Um, the images are not always clear, but that makes it so that you can actually talk about them and you can in do some, a lot of introspection. And that's the way it's meant to be. I mean, it's a deck that speaks to your soul. So it's not necessarily what's on the surface. You have to go beyond the surface to understand 
what the deck is telling you, what the cards are telling you. So this beautiful deck is the Death Doula Oracle by Theodor Saint. This deck is a one of the most underrated decks I reckon for uh, 2022. It's a recent acquisition. It has been published by Hay House, um, but it's only been available since uh, November, I believe. It's the Animal Apothecary by Karen Elizabeth. It's just so simple. This deck, I think it's underrated because people look at it and it looks a little bit like an affirmations kind of deck, which is not. It just tells you, you know, things the way you uh, need to hear them. It just, it looks at your life and it talks back to you. And it's it's a kind of a communication, it's a dialogue that you have with this deck that it makes it kind of unique. It's not just the keywords, as a matter of fact, they're not necessarily keywords. Uh, they're literally sentences messages that you're reading sometimes they're just keywords victory in abundance for example but you get this one claim your power with the tiger it's a very powerful deck i can assure you it's um, i at the beginning i used to try and pair with the tarot deck but there was a lot of imbalance, I feel, in some cases, because this deck has the kind of um, um, power that will overwhelm a tarot deck. So now I actually use it on its own, and it's just amazing. I love everything about it. I love the fact that it's very affordable. It's mass market by Hay House, but it's just, um, you know, it's the kind of product. It's a very good card stock as well. It's the kind of uh, deck that it ends up it ends up being one of your workhorse decks. So this is the Animal Apothecary by Karen Elizabeth. This deck is also a recent acquisition, and um, it represents for me a standout deck from twenty twenty two because it's something that I want to learn. It's something that I want to approach um, with a serious intention of understanding. Uh, uh, what this deck is about. So the name is Earth Alchemy Oracle and it says that these are cards to connect to the wisdom of plants and crystals. It's by Katie Jane Bright, illustrated by Nikki Strange. The reason why for me it will be a, uh, a study deck, let's say, for 2023 is because um, I don't know much about um, alchemy. I don't know much about crystals. And uh, I really want to learn. I want to add that to my practice. I know that uh, even reading tarot, for example, will benefit from knowing more about, but especially crystals. I do know about alchemy when it comes to the elements, but I believe that something that combines the uh, chemical elements with the significance of crystals and the combination with the plants as well can be an, an incredibly interesting deck to study so this is the earth alchemy oracle and as you can see it's got really helpful uh, kind of descriptions here so in the uh, you've got a really nice picture you've got the name septarian nodules you got way shower and you got the elemental the al alchemical element and then you've got a bit of a message, shake up the system, cellular upgrades. For emerald and milk crystal, heal the healer, soul's truth, Atlantis emerald tablet. So as you can see, there's a lot, it goes on about the symbology. Um, it's something that is very interesting. Right now to me, it, uh, it doesn't click yet and the reason why is because i still don't know enough I, I i feel like i really have to uh dive deep into this deck to start and understand uh what it is it that um you know it talks about and what is the message of the cards when i pull a card for myself why is that particular power being called upon to talk to me and um, I can't think of no better way to study these kind of things than looking at this really beautiful artwork. 
So this is the Earth Alchemy Oracle by Kathy Jane Wright, illustrated by Nikki Strange. And this next deck is very similar. It's the Herbal Astrology Oracle by Adriana Ayales. The artwork is by Josephine Clarks. It's very similar in the sense that this also has the association of um, the uh, plants and a bit of, um, it's a bit of a witchy deck. Um, it, it feels like it's giving you an insight on uh, witches' uh, wisdom, uh, but it does have, you know, uh, alchemical symbols. The illustrations are really beautiful. I paired this deck with my Witch's Wisdom Tarot and it just pairs beautifully. Um, as you can see, you've got a lot of symbology here. You've got the astrological signs as well. You've got the constellation, the symbols for it. But then again, it talks about a very specific kind of plant. So this one is the lion's mane, for example. And the keyword associated to it is leadership. Sometimes you do see um, some crystals in there as well. There's animal symbology. It is so rich in details. It is so uh, sophisticated and complex, but at the same time, very approachable. You just have to, obviously, you have to do your homework. You have to, you know, look um, for the... Uh, meaning of the cards um, in the guidebook which is very good if you want you can also give very quick readings with it when you focus solely on the uh, on the keywords um, but why would you i mean it's when you have something so interesting um, that brings uh, with it a lot of knowledge that you may not have yet um, it would be a waste for me at least it would be a waste to stop at the surface and it's also a way for me to reconnect with the deck I mean not that I needed to reconnect with this deck because I have been using it for a while ever since I got it but I find that uh, whenever I stop using the deck for whatever reason uh, one way to reconnect with it is to maybe reread the guidebook and try some of the maybe the guidebook has a very special spread that you can try with that particular deck or it talks about a new um, topic that I would like to study. Uh, for example, you've got the chakras here. So if you're not familiar with the chakras, then it might be very interesting to have a look at, um, you know, new books about chakras. Um, it gives you a lot of suggestions on how to deepen your practice, how to make it uh, more insightful. And I'm very grateful for that. So this is the Herbal Astrology Oracle by Adriana Ayales, artwork by Josephine Clex. The last deck is the Connected and Free by Inner Heat. Now this deck, I know that it's a bit of a cheat because it's not from 2022. Um, however, and it didn't even come into my connection in 2022. Um, I've had it for a while. The reason why it's here for 2022 is because I know that this year, or rather, sorry, uh, in 2022, there has been a, a French uh, publisher that has picked it up for mass market publication and it has been released in 2022. So I'm just referring to that and I really, really wanted to talk about this deck. It's just, um, this is by the way, one of my favorite cards overall in all of my Oracle decks. Um, this, and, and I would, definitely think that this card represents this deck because of its beauty. It is just otherworldly. It's mind-numbingly beautiful. The way it associates, um, you know, beautiful line work in uh, almost pencil work, charcoal, uh, black and white, uh, with a stark contrast with such a, a richly deeply colored background for example it is um, in many of the cards you do have that contrast and i think that it makes a deck unique um not just because of the uh, 
well, the mastery that it takes um, to be such a great artist, but also because it's done in such a way that it really draws you in. It really tells you a story and you just want to sit back and, and relax and just listen to the story that it's, it's telling you. If you look at this card, for example, so knowing, it's just absolutely... Um, I think it's very, very emotional. It brings out a lot of feelings. It's the way in which we're all connected to something beyond. It's, um, it talks about um, here, you can see all the sim all the constellation, you can see all the um, um, zodiac symbols, for example. But it's a lot more than that. It's the way in which this, um, this is the tether that is binding us to something that we do not know, um, to the unknowing perhaps. And the fact that the card is called soul knowing, um, to me is a way to say it's okay, we don't know what's beyond, but our soul actually knows and it's because our soul has existed way beyond our body has. And uh, you see how deep you can go with this deck. It's um, not for every card, perhaps, but it's the kind of um, uh, deck that comes into your life for whatever reason at a time in your life where you probably needed it. And uh, it speaks to your soul and it speaks to it in a way that no other deck can. It's got um, chakra cards as well, as you can see. Um, some people keep them in the deck, some people take them out. It depends on what kind of reading I'm doing. But look at the colors. Look at the artwork and the colors. It is just stunning. I do pair it with the uh, companion, let's say, um, tarot uh, deck, which is the Lumina by the same uh, creator. But this deck is just fantastic on its own, or you can pair with other tarot decks. It works just as well. So this is an incredibly beautiful oracle deck and it's the Connected and Free by Inner Hue. And I know that I've shown you already 10 decks but I always like to have a bit of an honorable mention at the end so this deck is so special to me and um, I was debating whether to include this or not um, it's not necessarily an oracle deck. Some of you might have seen it. I think it's out of print. It was one of those, you know, novelty kind of decks that we're selling at the beginning of the year 2000. Um, it's, um, so it's the answer deck includes 75 prophecy cards that can change your life. And it had been printed by Running Press. And I can assure you that this is no BS. It actually can change your life. I've used it so much that, as you can tell, uh, the box is falling apart. So I have to keep it together with the tape. Uh, the cards have been used so much that I almost now recognize them by whatever kind of uh, flaw or damage they have on their backs for example they're completely yellowed out as you can see the edges used to be white <laughs> now they're all you know kind of really yellow um but this deck it's it's also one of those mini decks that um, i really like because i can do larger spreads with it uh, without needing the whole table for it um, this deck may remind people of a bit of a Lenormand kind of um, reading style in the sense that it's got one keyword, the image corresponding to it, but it's not, it, the keyword is definitely the title, it's rather a title more than a keyword in, in the sense that it literally describes what you can see on the, uh, on the card. But it's just incredibly intuitive and it gives out such perfect, I would say, readings that it just, it blows your mind. It blows your mind and it tells it like it is. And I can assure you 1 million percent that if someone gives you a reading with this, whatever the answer, there is one card that represents the answer to your question at the end in one of the spreads that are recommended for this deck. Whatever that card is, that is your answer. No matter what you try to do, this deck has such 
um, an incredibly powerful um, prophecy quality to it that um, it is scary to the point that one of my best friends and I used to use this deck uh, together I was reading I was reading it for her and um, we between us we always called it the Jumanji deck because if you're familiar with the Jumanji franchise you know that you know it's a game uh, that if you open it then you're sucked into it and there's nothing you can do you have to play otherwise you're just gonna keep on being stuck in there forever and this deck is exactly the same in the sense that when you open it and you read with it that's what's gonna happen whatever this deck tells you it's gonna happen no matter what you do and you just have to play along and it's just the most incredible deck in my collection ironically i think it was just 10 pounds about in england it was probably just 10 pounds back then well mind you 20 years ago <laughs> um if you find this deck sometimes it comes up second hand somewhere in a facebook group or ebay or something get it uh, because it is absolutely incredible and that's the answer deck um, I don't know what the author is but it's been printed by running press now if you stick if you stuck all the way through to the end thank you so much for watching my video I hope you liked it and if you did like it please consider subscribing to my channel more to come have a great day